He brought his chinchilla with him. That's why you see the hat though. You know, <laughs> you know, you see the hat. You know it's cold outside. Bye. I am not a Jets fan, but of course my dad had to get COVID, okay? Because he brought COVID to the United States. What's under the napkin? <laughs> Yo, bro, bro. What's under the napkin? But I cried because, oh, it really got me. It got me. Hi, I'm saying, I, 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 I. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl Maya back again with another video, and I'm well aware I've been gone for a while. I needed to give myself a mental health break. Um, I had a lot going on with school and just life in general. Life was lifing. So I needed a mental health break, but I'm back and I'm better. Yeah, and we're gonna bust this content out because guys, roll to 6K. I'm about to hit 6K on YouTube. Ah. Don't play with you guys, you guys are eating. I went home for the holidays. If you guys don't know, I'm originally from New York and I go to school in Tampa, so I go back and forth. When I was in New York, I did record some content but not enough for me to make a good vlog. And you know, we do quality over quantity over here. So that's why I'm doing this video this way. Over the holidays, I did invest in another phone. Thanks dad, you ate. I think that's gonna help me really get my content out and better. And I'm just elevating with you guys. 2024, go us. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends and let's get into this video. I made a little notes of everything that I wanted to recap because this is just a holiday video recap. So I'm not gonna give dates to everything. My break was from December 19th to January 7th. So all of this happened within that time. So when I go home, I don't really pack that much, okay? I live with my mother and my grandma at home. So they wear the same size as me and they have good style. So I just take their clothes when I'm home. So as you can see, I'm just, really just putting whatever in the bag that I have, like that's essentials for me. And then when I get home, I just wear their stuff because that's just easy and they have cute stuff. So yeah, I have a dog. Now, if you guys did not know, which I don't think I've ever told you guys, my whole entire life basically, I was afraid of dogs until I went to college and my mom got my grandma a dog and it just made me love dogs. Now, I've never been a dog person. Like I said, um, when I was younger, I got chased by a dog. So I was, I just hated dogs. Like I missed um, my best friend's graduation party because there was gonna be a dog there. Like I did not do dogs. So I got a dog and now I'm obsessed with my dog. I dress him up, like me and my dog, we go hand in hand, don't play with my boy Rocco. And yeah, I wish I could have a dog in Tampa, but they are very high maintenance. While I was home, I spent a lot of time with my family and friends. Now, I live in Tampa right now, so a lot of my family and friends are in New York. So when I get the chance to go home and have dinners and just catch up and talk, of course, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, Side note, make sure you guys are prioritizing your family and your friends because you don't know when anybody can go. So. You need to make sure that you are spending time with your family and friends. I don't care if you guys have like the smallest amount of beef, just squash it. Like I'm telling you right now. I had a lot of family time, which I love. So that was that. So me and Justin went to the city. Um, we took the train and then we went to Bryan Park. We got some hot chocolate. Um, we saw the people ice skating. We didn't want to ice skate. Our hot chocolate, took some cute pictures to the Rockefeller tree. You know, we did all the little Christmas things that you do in New York. So I also got a book. Now, I've never been somebody to read a book because like, what? But I tell, I kid you not, when you find a book that has something to do, like that is like for you, 10 out of 10. Literally, it's like just teaching you about life and how you need to be in order to accomplish your dreams. And it's just motivational and I love it. It's like self-help, self-care books. Those are for me. I went shopping in the city with my mom and my aunt. That was really nice just to spend time with them. You know, the girls gotta get out, okay? Spend time with your family, like I said. 
So going to the city with my mom and my aunt was so much fun because one, my mom was paying for everything. Go you, ma, you ate. <laughs> Don't play with her. It was so nice to go to the city with my mom and my aunt because both of them are like the blueprint of my life. Like those are like my moms. Like they eat the girls up. Like don't play with them. And they're not like in their 20s or anything. They're older, but they look young. You guys don't know what an awkward photo shoot is. Um, it was trending on TikTok and you go to JCPenney's and you just find awkward poses that like families d used to do and then you do them. So me and Michaela decided to do the awkward photo shoot. So we went to JCPenney, um, matching outfits. Um, we went to JCPenney and it was packed. When I tell you it was packed, there were so many people in there, but um, they had two sections open. One was like in the back and you can like close the curtain and do your awkward photo shoot. And one was like right in the middle of the mall. And of course, with me and Michaela's luck, we got the one right in the middle of the mall. So we're doing all of these awkward poses right in the middle of the mall. What? It was actually very, 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 very embarrassing, but it was fun. So I definitely recommend. Um, you can go on Groupon and get like a discount, but we did it the wrong way. So we ended up paying like $150, which we were pressed. Like we were pressed for like three hours because it was something stupid that we wanted to do, but $150 for those stupid pictures, like be for real, be for real. So we did that, but it was actually so much fun. I love Michaela. Y'all know I love Michaela, but yes, we're definitely gonna have these pictures forever. So, hey. On Christmas Eve, I went to a Jets game. Now that was my first ever NFL football game. My dad's girlfriend got me these tickets and they were so close. I could literally drop my phone and give it to a football player. Like it was insane. We had the little cushion seats. Don't play with us. Like we was bougie. And these are some of the pictures. They didn't make it to the Instagram because I just felt like I looked weird, but it was so much fun. Like it was actually a little chilly. And of course I had to wear heels. So my feet were killing me, but we had so much fun. The game was nice. It was like, the last minute, the Jets, um, I forget who they were playing because, um, yeah. So the Jets came back though. It was like 27 to 27 with like um, a minute left and the Jets pulled through. I am not a Jets fan by any means. I am a Cowboys fan. And before you attack me, I'm a Cowboys fan only because when I was younger, I used to want to be a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Okay, I saw the movie, The Color Purple. Now, I've never seen the original Color Purple before. My mom told me I should probably watch it, like it's a must. I cried for the new one. Now, I know the new one is not really for everyone because it's a musical, but I cried because I've never seen The Color Purple ever. And all the things that were just making me enraged when, when I was watching it. But um, the girls ate. Do not play, but I cried because oh, it really got me. It got me. Um, on New Year's Eve, I went to a car meet into New Year's Day. So you know, like the 11.59 to 11, you know. I went to a car meet. I was hanging out the window. Don't play with me. I had so much fun, y'all. I didn't really know that I'm a car meet girl, but I think I'm a car meet girl. That was so much fun. Um. I told my dad that I was going and he was like, oh, you need to come with me. No, 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 no. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. But I think I'm a car meets girl, guys. That was actually so much fun when I tell you, like just watching the cars and hearing the sound and was it illegal? But I had so much fun. I was hanging out the window, doing donuts. Ah, I don't play. I want to say it was like, 500 cars, it was so much fun. Definitely recommend going to a car meet if you have not gone to one before. When I was sitting in the car, I gave you guys a little update, so I'm gonna play that little update right now. Hey guys! I'm back in New York. I'm so happy to be home. Um, I've been home for like two weeks. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I needed to take like a small mental health break from social media i'm back ah! recharged okay new year 
same me because I'm that girl. And no, that was not me being conceited. That was me being confident and speaking my reality. It's 28 degrees. Um, I have a scarf on, two sweaters, and a North Face jacket. Um, oh, and these earmuffs, like, guys. And last but certainly not least, I did two fine dinings with my dad. Now, we were supposed to do um, our Christmas tradition, which is normally we play Monopoly, but of course my dad had to get COVID, okay? Because he brought COVID to the United States. I said it. So my dad is annoying and got COVID during Christmas. So we're like sitting here masked up and I'm like, you ruined all of our content opportunities, okay? So we're gonna play Monopoly eventually on here because it gets serious and we do not play, okay? So we're gonna play Monopoly, but we did do two fine dinings once my dad was feeling a lot better. Um, we went to Zuma, New York, and we also went to Royal 35 Steakhouse. We just enjoy eating like a lot, okay? Um, me and my dad, we just talk, 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 talk for hours. And I love it. Oh, I love it. It's just so much fun. So we were going to do a fine dining episode, but it was just like Christmas was like kind of sick. So we didn't really get to catch up and we were like kind of focused on what we was doing. So I have like a little bit of clips, but nothing too crazy. So sorry. Ugh, I'm sorry. But all right, we got a salad. Nice little salad right here. Don't play. This is Canadian bacon with steak sauce. Uh, jumbo shrimp. Jumbo shrimp with the dry ice popping out the sides. Bye. And you already know who I am, yeah? Bye. Big floss, yeah? Ew, big little. <laughs> Never. <laughs> You're annoying. So we got the salad. These are just our little appetizers. You know, we don't really talk until later on in the video, but it's very quiet today. Starting off slow, starting off slow. We're at Royal 35, guys. So if you haven't been here, come. See the wine rack in the back? And I rented out half of the restaurant. All too, right, just to yeah, sure so that that's actually not stuff. true. There's just nobody in here because there's actually a snowstorm and he brought his chinchilla with him. That's why you see the hat though, you know, <laughs> you know, hat, you know it's cold outside. Bye. Oh, nah, bro. The... What's under the napkin? <laughs> Yo, bro, bro. What's under the napkin? <laughs> <laughs> Shrimp shell. <laughs> that's shrimp that's juice. He tried to get, cover it up. When you fat and you need shrimps, this is what happens. Yo. Bye. You get shrimp juice. Yo. All right, guys. A nice steak. Don't play. Yeah, I got the steak too. I'm getting ready to get busy right now. You know how I do. You know what I'm saying? T my phone now. Bye. <laughs> got the steak. Some sauces. You got a few cocktails, Joe. Got a little tea, you don't play. So that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all your friends, and let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see from me in the future. We will be back to regular programming now that I am back in Tampa. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm saying I am.